This season's Europa League really has been incredibly exciting, probably one of the most exciting in a long time, the likes of all the three big favourites in Arsenal, Manchester United and Barcelona all getting knocked out before the semi-final stages and we have two cracking semi-finals here. We have Roma versus Leverkusen and we also have Sevilla versus Juventus. Some really interesting games to predict in today's video. And can we see another underdog win the Europa League like Villarreal and Frankfurt this season? Well, it certainly is going to be very, in very interesting. But the first game we are going to start off with here is Leverkusen versus Roma. Now, this is going to be very interesting. Obviously, Xabi Alonso has absolutely transformed Leverkusen since he came in. You know, they've been on an absolutely spectacular run in the Bundesliga at the moment in absolutely tremendous form. Um, they've only lost like two games in the last 18 or something like that. They've been in incredible form. The likes of Moussa Diaby in brilliant form. Frimpong is having an amazing season at right back. Hinkepe has moved in to centre back alongside Jonathan Ta. There are some absolutely fantastic players in that Leverkusen team, Florian Vert. And of course, you've got AS Roma, you know, Jose Marini obviously coming up against Xavi Alonso, who he did work with at Real Madrid. Obviously, you've got the likes of Dybala and Abraham, who were absolutely key in that extra time against Feyenoord. There are some brilliant individuals in this Roma team. And this is a very, very tricky one to predict. I will tell you. These are two kind of different teams, I suppose. Leverkusen are a very kind of attacking team, possession team, whereas Roma are more of a sit back and, you know, get you on the counter type team, if you get what I mean. And it's fair to say Roma really do need Dybala and Abraham at their best for this game. There's no doubt about that. They really did struggle without them in the kind of first half and the early second half stages against Feyenoord. I think they would have lost that game if they didn't have Dybala and Abraham so they no doubt need to be on their best absolutely no question of that um, so it is a tough one Like it is difficult to know what will happen I am going to go with a 1-0 to Roma for the first leg and I am going to go for a 2-0 to Leverkusen in the second leg. I think the atmosphere, the Bayern Arena, you know, we know Bundesliga stadiums always create amazing atmospheres. Leverkusen have not won a trophy in like 40 years. They will be desperate for this. I just think Leverkusen are slightly better. I do. I think they've the better defence. I think they've the better individuals. There really are some cracking players in that Leverkusen team. And of course, there is in Roma, but. I just have a sneaky feeling that Chabi Alonso's men are going to do it. I really do. So, yeah, that is my prediction. I am going to go for Leverkusen to advance. Moving on to the next semi-final, which is Juventus versus Sevilla. The first leg at the Allianz Stadium in Sevilla, or in um, Turin. And of the second leg being at the Ramon sanchez Pituan in Seville. Now, obviously, Juventus, these two teams have had very strange seasons. Obviously, Juventus at the port of the whole points deduction situation. They just got their points back recently. Sevilla had an awful poor start to the season. Um, they were really, really poor. Sacked Julian Lopetegui um, during the first few games of the season. They were in the relegation battle even at one stage, you know. Um, obviously, Sam Pauli came in, kind of stabilised things and managed to obviously grind their way through against both PSV and Fernabache. And they were obviously heavily written off against United, including myself, but absolutely went into that game with the confidence, with the belief. And they managed to score a couple of goals at the Ramon Sanchez Pituan. El Nessery being the star of those couple of games, you know, an absolutely brilliant striker. 
So, you know, and obviously they have the heritage in this competition. They've won the competition, I think, six times. They obviously won a three in a row, once in 2014, once in 2015, and once in 2016. There are some brilliant players. Obviously, of course, the goalkeeper, Bono as well, really good keeper. Um, and uh, Jose Luis Menbar has, you know, really, really transformed this team since he's, since he's came in. I think he's only in charge for, like, five games, but they've managed to get a good few wins since he did come to the club um, this is it for Sevilla it is everything the, even the league it's looking quite difficult that they can get back into Europe through the league they're a good bit off the Europa League spots they still have a chance at the 7th place Conference League but ultimately their best chance of avoiding the Conference League or avoiding completely missing out on Europe in the league is to win the Europa League Juventus on the other hand you know you've obviously got Maximiliano Allegri who is under huge pressure despite the points coming back very kind of up and down season for Juventus, a lot of losses to a lot of the lower team or the lower teams, especially when it was announced they got that points deduction. It has been a very tough season, but they do have some brilliant individuals, as I've saying, Vlahovic, Di Maria, Kostic, you know, Szczesny. There are some brilliant players, Bremer, you know, Locatelli. There are some amazing players in that Juventus team. And both of these teams really need the Europa League in order to kind of make up for their poor season. It is a tough one, um, a difficult, difficult one. Sevilla will probably be more attacking in this game. And that's funny to say because they probably are the weaker team. And obviously Juventus will be more defensive, but I am going to go for the team. The team with the heritage, the team with the want and will, the team with the second leg at home. I do feel like second legs at home are huge when it comes to European games. I am going to go for Sevilla to advance through to another Europa League final. So yes, I am going to go with Sevilla. I'm going to go with Juventus to win the first leg 2-1. I'm going to go for a 2-1 Sevilla win in the second leg. So that's obviously 3-3 on aggregate. Um, and I am going to go for extra time Sevilla to win 1-0 in extra time. That is how I'm going to go for this game. I think Sevilla are just about going to clinch it. They have to win this, you know, everything is on this. But anyway, do let me know your predictions in the comments for the Europa League. I would be very interested. Who do you think will win the Europa League as well? That's going to be a very interesting one. You know, can Leverkusen do it? That would be amazing for Chabi Alonso to go and do that in his first season. We will have the Conference League prediction video coming up soon as well. Make sure to like and subscribe as well. We are very close to 200 now, so that will be be greatly appreciated and then um, thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next video